These are my very homemade gecko hands. This is me attempting to hang from them. And this is... Beast! Usually, when someone has sticky hands, they're either having a terrible time or a really good time. For the gecko specializes in being a super sticky lizard. A gecko's hands are incredible feats of evolution. A gecko, which weighs around 70 grams, can in theory hold a weight of 140 kilograms, an insane 2,000 times their body weight, just off the stickiness of their hands. Their hands form temporary intermolecular bonds with the surface they are on. If we zoom in on their hands and the wall, the atoms in their hands are actually actually forming weak bonds with the atoms that make up the surface. Zooming in on their hand structure, they do this with the help of 14,000 setae that each have around 1,000 spatulae on each foot, giving their feet a huge surface area which can form loads of bonding forces with the wall. But they are temporary and relatively weak alone, so a slight bend of the toe and the gecko is no longer stuck. However, when the gecko overlords rise up and take over the earth, they do have one weakness. Geckos can't stick to the non-stick coating used in many cooking pans. I will be testing the power of these intermolecular forces to see if I can make some homemade gecko hands. So here's the load that I put together earlier, and as you can see, the paper is able to hold its own weight just from the forces between the pages. There's nothing else holding that. So I have my stack of gecko hands ready, and I need to try and drill all the way through and attach some rope to it so I've got something to hold on to when I hang off them. I am completely making this up as I go along. As you can see, my plan is coming together and there is now going to be something to hold on to. <laughs> All the sides are drilled. And you can see the rope goes through and it gives me something to hold on to. The pages all linked together. So the only thing holding me will be these pages here folded on top of each other and the forces between the pages and the rope just goes all the way through here so for something to hold on to. Here is the finished product and as you can see all the pages linked together it's attached to the top and at the bottom I'm going to try and hang from it just like the gecko's hands. Yeah. How, are you? How are you feeling today? Good. <laughs> I've attached my hands to the bar. This is genuinely the first time I'm going to see if this can support any weight. I have no idea how it's gonna go. Right, three, two, one. <laughs> I'm a gecko! <laughs> We have tried this thing like five times and it's helped me every single time. So I now have a 20 kilo weighted vest on. I'm an armored gecko. I'm gonna see if we can test its limits a little bit. All right. I think it will hold better than my grip will hold. So let's give it a try. <coughs> yep. <laughs> Still holds. <laughs> I knew this thing would be strong, but it is really surprising. We've had a genius idea to add a bar in as well, because my grip was going before this was going. So 
let's give it another try. There's also another 15 kilos added on. <laughs> Something broke a bit there. <laughs> it's still holding. <laughs> this thing will not go. <laughs> it's so strong. <laughs> The only damage the hands took was where the paper ripped and the pages never came apart. I knew in theory that these hands would work, but it really was amazing to see the pages holding 140 kilos just from the intermolecular forces. The science is so sound that actual scientists are trying to create artificial gecko skin by studying the microscopic structure of the gecko skin considering I was able to recreate something like the gecko skin with a load of paper I call this one a draw